What is going on guys? My name is Roman back here from Roman Reviews here and I'm actually on time with a reaction where the, I'm actually reacting to the video with the day it comes out. Uh, I just came back from, from work so I'm a little bit later. I normally would have actually had this up earlier but I had a long day at work and I actually should still be at work if it wasn't for the fact that I can't have OT. But yeah, because um, I have so much of it right now. But the yeah, last episode is by far one of the best episodes of Shonen I've seen in quite a long time. Granted this is before me actually being all caught up with Attack on Titan so that might be a reason why. Why, and also I'm not caught up on Mob Psycho 100 so those are the two that are usually brought up the most in terms of comparison of this show in terms of shonens um but yeah in terms of like my enjoy uh, enjoyment yeah this was probably one of the most enjoyable la last episode that was probably one of the most enjoyable episodes I have seen in quite a long time it left me speechless if you guys haven't seen my reaction I was legitimately speechless at the end of it I'm ready to see I want to see how this is going to continue on. Um, all that's left, uh, all that's left is the little sister, um, and then some people were explaining that out of the twelve, uh, out of the twelve demons, he was the second weakest. So there is one weaker, but the fact that he was able to take down um, one of the twelves is still no easy feat. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And by the way, everyone was saying Giyu. It's uh, it's Giyu, not Ginyu, because <laughs> Ginyu, yeah, Ginyu Force. Um, and funny thing is, I didn't even piece that together until like people pointed it out. <laughs> but yeah. Um, also, yeah, this is also the first time I've actually heard Nezuko speak since episode one. I believe I could be totally wrong, but um, that wasn't a uh, um, flashback. Um, so yeah, maybe this is going to maybe she'll get, she's gonna have some like internal dialogue. From now on, there is still six more episodes, seven if you include this one. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to see what this, what this is going to be. So yeah, episode... Oh, what, what, what? what? Hold on. Don't play. All right. So episode 20, Pretend Family of Kimetsu no Yaiba, son in three, two, one, let's jam. Ah, that was such a good episode. This, this was such a good... Cut the thread to allow Andandro just to come and slice his head off. I mean, the show, and they, they just focus on his earrings, I just realized that. Oh, man, that was such a good episode. All right, so I'm going to be, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mute it really quickly. Um, because I'm actually going to be playing the intro this time, not skipping it like I usually do um, lately, just to catch up. I wonder if they're going to change the edit, um, credits, or maybe it was just that special one. I'm, I'm still trying to get my uh, roommate, not my roommate, um, my roommates will watch this once this gets dubbed. Um, but I'm trying to get my co-worker to, to catch up on it, and he's trying to persuade me to watch The Lock Horizon while I, uh, in comparison. Because um, he wants me to watch The Lock Horizon, and I'm watching that on my own time. I've only I finished the first episode, and... I feel like I need to like fully properly sit down and watch it to uh and not just listen to it in the background like what I was doing. Um but yeah, I'm ready I, I am curious though to see if Nezuko is going to be speaking now. I really hope that's the case. That would be really cool. Although granted it's going to ruin her trademark uh um thing. <laughs> totally uh, lost my train of thought there. Um but yeah, there's also a lot of sword heroes. Oh, I just realized there's um not sword heroes, uh demon slayers that we have yet to, to be introduced to that Giyu was standing in front of. Um but yeah. Pretend family. I would I, I I could see him collapsing right after that. Oh, let's go. I wonder if she passed out. Also, he like Tanjiro was totally um ready to sacrifice himself just to protect Nezuko. Oh yeah, and by the way, people are pointing out that that is Roto um Roto animation. Rotoscope animation. For some reason, I combined the rotoscope and CG. I, I apologize. 
rotoscope was the same animation they used for um oh shit but no rot um if you watch the Kaguya Sama Love is War of uh, the Chica Dance that's rotoscope animation I know this gets banged up, but... No, oh, he's still alive? It wasn't a full cut? Was it not a proper cut? Oh, that's some bullshit. What kind of... And here I thought... That's some bullshit. I feel like Gyu's gonna come in and finish it. <sighs> He's so exhausted though. Oh, that's some bullshit. I'm actually curious as to see where this, how this is going to turn out. The only thing I can think of is Gyu's going to come in. Ugh. There you go. It's the only thing that would have made, it's the only one that would have made sense. Or the other girl, but he was, she was with, um, Zenetsu. Yeah, but I feel like he's going to end you pretty easily. He's just going to cut in once. Total concentration. Oh, that. I care. It's a new move. You're already dead. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so that's what you used to look like. A little girl turned demon. How many is that? Five? Yeah, five of them. Uh, if you if you let me save you, you had to become part of the family. Oh my god! I 
Hey, at least it was instantaneous. There was a lot more people. Four of them I've never, I've not seen. And is she just gonna change just like that? Okay, no. Jesus Christ. Like, it's, like, all these demons have, like, some type of tragic, tragic backstory that something happened to them. But at the same time, they're fucking crazy. It's hard to, like, it's hard to be compassionate about it. But you can understand why at the same time. So, so it feels, so this... So this is what the pretend family comes in from the title. So this is going to be totally a, for the most part, a backstory on them. It's going to turn it, like, make them look like them. Jesus Christ! Did he like rip off the face and then put a new one on? Oh. Jesus, take the wheel. Is that just, like, human flesh? I still don't like your mask, dude. I feel like Rui was just, like, really lonely. Hmm... She doesn't have the full, uh, oh, revert. Oh, that's what she used to look like? Okay, I was like, I don't know who you are. So maybe she's shape shifting to make look like that in a way. Hmm. Uh, there's the death flag. You just raised it. Well, here's a toast, because you dead. That's what...
Jesus. Like, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not talking. Like, I'm just, like, trying to... I'm, I'm soaking it all in. Uh, uh, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't revert, don't revert. Oh, and that's when he came in. Just gonna incapacitate him. You're dead. You're dead. And just like a butterfly. She's not going to believe you. She's not going to believe you. Sorry. Well, she'll... She... By killing you. She has, like, this intimidating factor about him. Oh, you lied. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, I told you the ones that always like had that kind of like look to them, and, like kind of like that soft spoken face, soft spoken voice, and that oh jeez yeah you kind of jesus she's a sadist Au revoir. The last thing she sees is a butterfly. A monarch butterfly?
Is it poison? Oh, Jesus. Y yeah, um... Oh, she, I was like, I don't know, if, I don't, I thought the poison wouldn't be able to kill him, just torture, but no, this is, a, yeah, she's already dead. Don't worry, I was just monologuing, just, uh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That, that, it's a... What if she's actually not dead? And like, she's just completely paralyzed. That'd be terrifying. I think so. But if he cut it off, how? Is it not enough? So he wants to feel what a family's like. Hmm. The one thing I, that I'm like a little curious about is this is now the second, well, from what we've seen, this is the second time his head has been cut off. He says he's cut it off himself, so who knows how many times that's been. What is the difference between Giyu's cut and Tanjiro's cut? That's the one thing I hope they explain in the next episode. Yeah, this is a full, complete episode just on his backstory and um, the the rest of the family. But man, that the girl with the butterfly, Shinobu, Shin, Shinobu, Shinobu, was it Shinobu? Yeah, she's kind of terrifying. Do you would not want to get in her bad side at all? That would be a quite uh, terrifying to behold. But. Like, I, I, I really do appreciate that they're giving some backstory on every single major antagonist of each arc for the demons. And I, I thoroughly enjoy that. I love it. Alright, so I'm wondering, I'm curious as to see what the next episode's going to be. Maybe it's going to be Nezuko um, recovering? Maybe, but all of them recovering, hell. Hope they at least let them heal up a bit. Against corpse rules. Oh, maybe maybe the fact that she's holding on to a demon. 
Oh no, I never thought about that in reality. I just never thought about that. And I think Giyu maybe just made an exception, but his he's not the he's not the he's not the rule of law. Oh shit. I'm guessing it's going to have to be like this next arc is going to be basically Nezuko proving that she isn't a danger to humans as long as she's with Tanjiro. And maybe, who knows, maybe she'll actually speak. Who knows? But like I said, I kind of feel like that girl will be like, oh, you're a demon. Dead. I kind of feel like, it, well, at least I try to attack. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be really interesting. I'm going to feel, I feel like I'm gonna, really going to like this art because it's going to create a lot of tension. <laughs> but yeah. I'm guessing that's the next arc that's coming up, but that's going to be the next focal point of this arc. Um, and who knows? I mean, there's only seven more, well, technically now, six more episodes, so maybe it can be a 3-3 split of an arc. We'll see. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think of the episode in the comment? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. That was a good episode. Definitely a uh, good way to conclude this arc, I feel like, because I feel like this arc is now done. Everyone's dead from that family um and everyone's basically saved for the most part so yeah i'm curious as to see where this is gonna go but yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching um and yeah also this also shows that tantro really technically didn't beat a 12 he just held him off so it's got a lot of training to get uh get through but yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time see ya